What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. You guys know, for me on my channels, people want to paint me as a brother who dislikes black women. Uh, you know, a hater of African-American women. And um, really when I hear that, not that I really give a damn, um, but it's, it is sort of disturbing when we see some of our people out here, both men and women, carrying on like they ain't got no goddamn sense. Then if you say something about it, all of a sudden you hate black people, okay? I want to talk about this with Summer Walker. Summer Walker is a talented singer. For those of you in this generation, I mean, she had a really good album just recently. But can I be honest with you, black people? Something is wrong with Summer Walker. Summer Walker is crazy. Something wrong with her. Okay? She comes from a lineage, it seems almost, like where there's a lot of problems in the family. Um, mom, there's no father there. Her grandmother, single mother. Great grandmother, single. So a whole bunch of dysfunction in the family. And I would assume that she come up in a household where there wasn't a lot of nurturing for her. Um, and so even though she's talented, she's real messed up. And now some of her fans think she has a mental crisis. Now, I blessedly believe she has that because remember, she had the baby looking real skinny and she was feeding the baby vegan food and all that stuff. And, um, you know, she's been going through it with London on the track. But look at this goddamn hair right here, fam. I'm going to look at this. No, 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 no. Look at this goddamn shit. Look, 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 look at this right here. This is her new hairdo. What? Who does she look like? I can tell you who she looks like. Goro. Who? From Mortal Kombat. Bruh. Who is Goro? Let's look at him. That's exactly what she looks like. <laughs> she looks like a Mortal Kombat character. Ah, look at the top of his head. All right. Going outside looking like a UFC fighter with no hands. All of these, you know, I, I mean, if you want to have tattoos, whatever, but this, this looks like somebody that, when you look at her, she looks like somebody that is demented. This is not normal. Then when you talk about something like this, y'all want to say that I hate black people. I love y'all so much so that I don't live nowhere around you in America no more. That's why I'm in Africa, because in Africa, you won't never see nobody going outside looking like this. And when people go around looking like this, it's a cry for help, especially women who are good looking. And why? Because I want to talk about this. Somebody never loved her. That's why she has all these problems with London on the track. She got problems with men, problems with herself. 13 different dudes name tattooed on them. And people be really dying inside, man, in black America. We don't think about this, man. A lot of these superstars, we think they have it easy. We think they have it, you know, soft or something like that. That people are messed up, man. They come from broken families. And this is the result of what you get when mama and daddy can't get along. This is what you get when there's no community to support your kids. When you go out there and have kids you can't take care of, you're looking for somebody else or I can do better by myself and you have nothing to put your kids in the right environment. Your kids walk around looking like Goro. Okay? Your kids go around here not believing that don't nobody care about them. They go around here with no self-esteem. And we have really created this community for a lot of our kids to dwell in and wonder why they don't become anything. You know, when you when, 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 when we don't focus on our children and, and, and the environments, because kids need resources, both financial and emotional. But when you don't give them what they're supposed to have, what are they supposed to become? 
I want to know it because I don't think y'all want to talk about that. What are kids supposed to become when don't nobody care about them? Mama's messed up. Daddy ain't there. Then you expect this person to go out there and create a family with who? Who wants to date Goro Hairline? Like, yo, here's go. You know, here's girl hairline. This is my wife. Yeah, I, 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 you you hear it at, at the business meeting. Here she go. People look at you and be like, "What the hell's wrong with her?" Ask your who. Yeah, it's my wife. Don't worry about the hairstyle. No, some she she has a hairstyle because something's going on in the life. That's why people express themselves in real. Um, y'all will call it creative ways. I don't think that's what it is. I think it's cry for help. But at the same time, you will be the first people, not all of y'all, but some of y'all want to talk down on conventional families, men being in communities, all that. And let me let me tell you this. A lot of women out there are suffering in their relationships with other men, are suffering in their relationships in general because they have not seen a father in their life. How are they supposed to get along with men and they haven't seen it? How are they supposed to appreciate masculinity when they haven't seen it? Are they supposed to figure it out? This is not going to college. Okay. Anybody can go to college um, and learn something or learn a skill and all that. But then when you want to deal with the opposite people, especially in your own community, and if you have any kind of in, you know b- belief that your people are less than because of who they are, you're going to have problems. That's what she's going through. The dude that she's going through, can't none of her read and write? Like, if I was to date somebody, the female version of Love on the Track, I'd cut my hair off too. Like that. Everybody you dating can't read. Everybody you dating can't write. Everybody looking like they got 85 felonies. Okay? You messed up just as much as he is. And you mad because... That is a representation of you. When you mess with London on the track of this other boy you messing with, it points the mirror to your face how dusty you have become. That's black America mad because you're dusty in many cases. I, I, I was there. A lot of us is mad because we are dust and we attract that dust and we don't know how to get over it. Pissed off about it. Mad. Upset. Angry. Because anybody taught us nothing. And, and to move forward as the black community... We got to look for giving these young women that are coming up better resources. These little girls don't need to grow up and become Summer Walker. I'm sorry. I got to say it. Bitter, upset, pissed off at the opposite gender, going through mental struggles because somebody couldn't give her a nice life, but they birthed her, though. Daddy not there. Where's his ass at? See, we got to we got to start caring about these kids. Then when these kids turn around, don't become nothing, or they mess around and rob your ass one day, you be mad. Where are the parents? And then they become parents, and the cycle continues. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junker Reaper. For all that you do, subscribe to the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all-time high. I'm out.